Bob Durfee, and I have Alzheimer's. I was diagnosed and given this information just before last year's walk. I had suspected I had a problem for a couple of years as I began to forget things and uh, repeat myself. A few people knew that it was happening to me, but it was not ready to talk. But I was not ready to talk about it. I was very frightened, and to say I was worked up is an understatement. My second thought, my first thought was, why me? And my second thought was, why not me? At this time, there is no answer to either question. But medical research is going along in the search to find a cure. Until that happens, what is helping me being active in the, is being active in the organization for in Alzheimer's. I choose to try and help others get a grip on what's happening to them and to let them know they are not alone in this fight. I urge everyone to get involved in this battle for all, including those who have not yet been get diagnosed. Getting involved may include volunteering for the work committees, and even medical trials. Anything we can do to prevent this, to provide the cure for this disease would be wonderful. Don't be afraid to go out in public to increase the awareness. I get tongue-tied sometimes when I talk and I say, Hang on a minute, Alzheimer's strikes again. <laughs> you know, it, it helps me get back on track. And I'm sure some of you know what that feeling is like when all of a sudden you lose what you're trying to say. Feel free to tell people you have Alzheimer's. It's not a crime, you are not contagious, you just have the bad luck to get caught in the, at this disease. The more people who are willing to acknowledge that they have Alzheimer's, the more momentum to find a cure will be placed on our government and to release more funds to find a cure. I'm, I'm able to fight to prevent Alzheimer's from attacking our children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. Thank you very much.